Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Angela Shelley with Pray to Win. Our scripture for today's prayer is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. And it says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. It's before his throne of grace that we obtain mercy. One of the ways that he's wanting us to know him in this time, in this moment, in this season, is that he is a merciful God. And oftentimes we associate mercy with an expression of forgiveness or withholding penalty and judgment. But there's also another expression of his mercy. The other expression of his mercy is the expression where he alleviates pain, where he provides relief from suffering where he comes in and helps those that are inadequate and incapacitated at any level, in any way. So in this prayer, we are asking God to be so moved by compassion that he has mercy on us, both to forgive us and to withhold judgment and punishment, but to also alleviate us from any pain that we are suffering in our lives, any pain that we are experiencing providing relief from any suffering that we are experiencing as a result of our humanity, as a result of our limitations, as a result of our inadequacies, as a result of our infirmities, as a result of our iniquities. And even in that scripture, we hear the undertone of brokenness because it's only through understanding that we need God, that we need Him, that we are limited, that we are inadequate, that of our own selves we can do nothing, that we can come before his throne of grace to obtain mercy. Let's go together. I worship you, Lord, for you are the ancient of days, the ruler of all you created. The heavens are yours, the earth is yours, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Glory to your name, O most precious Heavenly Father. Glory to your name, most precious Heavenly Father. You are God eternal, the true and living God, the mighty God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God of those that call upon your name. Lord Jesus, I reverence you as the Son of the living God, as the full expression of God himself on the earth. Lord Jesus, in you dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Jesus, we marvel at your love. We marvel at your goodness. We marvel at your power. We marvel at your strength. We marvel at who you are and how you walked and what you accomplished. We marvel at how you reign. For how you reign is beautiful, God. We marvel at the beauty of the works of your hands. We marvel at your splendor, your majesty. We marvel at your glory. Here we are, Jesus. Here I am, Jesus, at your feet. I bow at your feet, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we pay attention and we follow you. We lift up our hands to acknowledge that it is you, Holy Spirit, who reveals God to us. Holy Spirit, I thank you that in this prayer, you reveal God to us. Holy Spirit, we thank you for an encounter today. Holy Spirit of God, I ask that on today, you increase our capacity to experience heaven, to experience the divine, to experience you. Father, I thank you, and I ask that you would cause the angels to accompany us as we pray. With each person under the sound of my voice, wherever they are in time and space, I ask that your spirit and that your angels will cause us to enter into a realm of your presence like we have never experienced before. Father, I ask that you would go deep. We open our hearts to you and we allow you to perform spiritual surgery. Father, I ask that you will be moved with compassion by the love that you have for us in our weaknesses and in our infirmities, in our limitations and our inadequacies. Father, today, We come before your throne according to your word that says we can come before your throne to obtain mercy. 
Father, we've come to obtain mercy. We've come to obtain mercy, Father. I've come here today to obtain mercy. Father, I've come here today because it is my heart's desire. Father, it is my heart's desire to become the full expression of what you expect of me, regardless of the limitations of my humanity. So, Father, I've come to obtain mercy that I might become the full expression of your expectations of me. And for that, Father, that can only be done through your mercy. Lord God, I ask that you be merciful unto me. Be merciful unto us, Father. Father, I thank you. I thank you for brokenness. I thank you, Father, that you give me a brokenness, a realization, and an admittance, and an acknowledgement of my own limitations. Father, there's many things that we have tried to do in our own strength. There are many things that we have attempted to do. Sometimes it has failed. Sometimes we have gotten a reasonable result. But Father, you are not the God of addition. You are an exponential God. So Father, I thank you that to be the full expression of your expectations, that you shift us now from natural one plus one equal two results to a multiplication, an exponential result. Father, I thank you that you shift us, that we acknowledge, Father, in this moment in time that at my very best, the best I can do is one plus one equals two. The best I can do is a natural result. And that is a limitation. You didn't say in the beginning for man to add. You gave us the instruction of multiplication, Father. For it to be a full godly expression to live up to your expectations father we need you we need you we are limited in our thinking we are limited in our ability we are limited with the time we are limited by the infirmities of this mortal flesh that you have given us father even our days are numbered father there are dreams and visions that you have given us plans that you have for us for your word says that you know the plans that you have for us. So you've given us a hope and an expected end. And Father, many of us in where we are right now, where we see with our natural eyes, we want to see the manifestation of your plans. The plan for our homes to be in order. The plans for a woman to be with her husband and her husband to love his wife. The plan for the children to obey, to walk in the ways that you have established. Father, we want to see those plans. We want to see the manifestation of those plans. That part in our heart that knows it is possible. That part in our heart that knows that that is right. But Father, because of our limitations, because of our inadequacies, Father, we need your mercy. We need your mercy of healing. We need your mercy of provision. We need your mercy of your teaching. Teach us, show us, guide us. Translate us through time and space from where we are to where we need to be in you, Father. Oh, Lord, we stand at your throne today to obtain mercy. God, your mercy is our advantage. Father, your mercy not only forgives us and withholds the punishment that we deserve, but your mercy also alleviates the pain that we're enduring. It provides relief from our suffering. It provides a relief from our inadequacies and where we are incapacitated, incompetent at any level, where we are hindered at any level in any way. Your mercy provides relief. So Father, by your mercy, by your mercy, I ask, I ask that you would relieve us of the pain, relieve us of the suffering, Remove from us. Take us beyond our inadequacies, our incompetencies, any way in which we have been incapacitated at any level, whether that be in our marriage, in our homes, in our families, in our children, Father, in our way of thinking. We have been incapacitated. We have limitations because of this mortal flesh, because of this human nature. Father, we're at your throne. To obtain mercy, your word says that we can boldly approach your throne. To obtain mercy, Father, I thank you that we repent 
turn completely away from our pridefulness and our thinking, our pridefulness in our heart that will keep us from qualifying for your mercy. Father, we repent from any condition of our heart that considers your help to be in addition to what we already have, in addition to what we feel like we can do. Father, your mercy, your help is not an addition. Father, we have no ability without you. Father, outside of your assistance, outside of your help, outside of your restoration, outside of your goodness, outside of your strength, outside of your power, outside of your move of your hand, we are inadequate to express you. We are inadequate to live up to your expectations. We are inadequate to show forth the plans that you have for us. We are inadequate. We are unable to bring our homes into order without your help. We are unable to cause our finances to be in order without your help. We are unable to bring our health into alignment and in order without your help. We need your help. We need your grace. We need your wisdom. We need your strength. We need your instruction. We need your guidance. We need your friendship, Father. We need your love. We need your protection. Father, I just sense right now that some of us still think that we can do our health on our own. And yet I'm reminded that without your hand being upon our life, we are unable to protect ourselves like we think we can. So yes, Father, we need your help in our health in every way. Not only to keep us healthy, but shift us out of an unhealthy mindset. Shift us out of food addiction and gluttony. To shift us out of addictions to alcohol and drugs, legal or prescription. To shift us out of dependency on the medical system. But to translate us into divine health, where we are healthy, spirit, soul, and body. That kind of health. Where we are healthy in our thinking. Where we are healthy in our mental abilities, Father where we are not just healthy in our bodies, Lord God, but we're healthy in our minds. And not just where we're healthy in our minds, Lord God, we know we are not able to even be healthy in our minds without us being healthy in our spirit. So we're here to obtain mercy, Father. Mercy in our finances. That you would lead us to a place of financial freedom and keep us there. So Father, by your mercy, I ask that you would destroy every poverty mindset, every poor way of thinking. Father, the limitations and the inadequacies that we have in our minds concerning money and finances and even in our ability and our limited way of thinking in terms of giving, Father. For you are a God of more than enough and you are a God of provision. So we will be free, Lord God, to give and to let things go and not hold on to things, to not hoard. Father, put our finances in order. Show us mercy. May we become the full expressions of your expectations in our finances. The full expression of your expectations in our health. And Father, the full expression of your expectations in our homes. Father, I'm reminded of the scripture in Haggai where you rebuked them and you said, the people says, the time has not yet come to rebuild the Lord's house. And the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai that says, Is it time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house, the house of God, remains in ruin? Now this is what the Lord God Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. You have planted much but harvested little. You eat but never have enough. You drink but never have your fill. You put on clothes but are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it. This is what the Lord God Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. Go into the mountains and bring forth timber and build my house so that I might take pleasure in it and be honored. You expected much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you brought home, I blew away. Why, declares the Lord Almighty? Because of my house, which remains a ruin, while each of you is busy with your own house. Father, as we read your word, 
we want to consider our ways as we stand before you. Father, where we've asked you to rebuild our homes, but we must consider our ways to see how we put forth our hands to rebuild your temple, to rebuild your house, Father, your spiritual house, the body of Christ, the church, how we put forth our hands to rebuild the church. Father, where we've allowed COVID to cause us to stay at home and be focused on ourselves and our homes and all of those things while many of the churches are lying in ruin. Father, we repent. Father, we consider our ways. And so, Father, while you are telling us to get our homes in order, Father, show us how to help put your home in order first. We consider our ways. May we put the kingdom first. And then all these things will be added unto us. Father, I ask for your mercy. May we be full expressions of your expectations in the body of Christ, in your kingdom. Father, I thank you that your mercy ensures and guarantees us that we can accomplish those things. Father, I thank you for this opportunity. And I ask, Lord Jesus, that you will be moved with compassion to help us Help us in our infirmities. Forgive us for our rebellion and cleanse us from our disobedience. Jesus, we cry out to you. As blind Bartimaeus did, we say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on me. Thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. Father, let your mercy speak. Father, may we see a change in our homes, our health, and our finances because of your mercy. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Father, we're not looking for you to add to what we're doing. We are putting our full dependence on you. We need your mercy. Father, I thank you that you cause us to understand that our spiritual maturity is in direct proportion to our level of dependence on you. The more we depend on you, the more we mature in the spirit. So Father, we put all our dependence on you and we ask that you would grow us in this. Father, I thank you that everything that we're looking for, you have made and you have designed to also be looking for us. Every grace, every favor, every provision, every help, every power, every enablement, every strength, every restoration, every deliverance that we're looking for. Father, I thank you that it is also looking for us. So Father, I thank you that you cause us to meet and encounter and connect. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that you cause us to connect with everything that we're looking for and that's looking for us. Father, I thank you that there be a connection in our marriages where we are looking for a deeper connection with our spouses. Father, I thank you that what we're looking for is also looking for us and that there be an established connection. Father, the peace that we're looking for is also looking for us. Father, the joy that we're looking for is also looking for us. The unity that we're looking for is also looking for us. The order that we're looking for is also looking for us. And so we I thank you, Father, that you cause there to be a connection. Father, the health that we're looking for is also looking for us. The wisdom that we're looking for is also looking for us. Thank you, Father. The love that we're looking for is also looking for us. Father, I thank you for establishing the connection. For you said you've already given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. You've given them from the seat of your throne. And so, Father, I thank you that you cause us to elevate to where we can obtain those things. Reach those things. Lay hold of those things. Father, we give you permission to change us. This year we follow. Holy Spirit, this year we follow. We follow your promptings. We follow your guidance. This year, Lord Jesus, your yes is our yes. Your yes is my yes. Will you say yes to? I say yes to. This year we follow. And we follow through. Thank you, Jesus. This year we follow and we follow through. We follow through with it. We follow through. Even when it's hard, we follow through. Even when our flesh rebels, we follow through. Even when we want to say yes and need to say no, we follow through and say no. We follow and we follow through. 
with your instruction, with your guidance, with your teachings in your word. We follow through. Father, thank you for your mercy. For you are a merciful God. Father, you are merciful, gracious, compassionate. Your mercy is over all your work. So it is in faith, it is because I believe that we will see the goodness of God in the land of the living and we will obtain your mercy and grace to help in a time of need. For it is written. And we give you all the praise, the honor, the glory forever. For thy throne, O God, is forever. In Jesus' matchless, wonderful, beautiful name we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. I am looking forward to seeing a manifestation of God's mercy in our lives. It's for his kingdom and for his glory. If we can win the home, we can win the nation. And if we can win the nation, we can win the world. Because we don't just pray, we pray to win. I'll see you in the next video.